Thanks for clicking on the Postgrad Network. This site is meant to act as an informative guide to the world of the nation's top business and law schools. We plan on showing you, the potential student, what it's like to attend and live through these programs, in the words of the actual students. Downside is it's loud and it's dirty. It was very hard. I did not expect to have my mind disassembled as much as it was. Every year, approximately 120,000 prospective students apply to the nation's law schools. The students' motivations for applying vary. I want to be a lawyer because being a lawyer provides you with this set of skills. And you can use them in any field, but they also, with respect to the legal system, are a set of tools that provide access to the system. I came in looking to do uh, intellectual property. Uh, remains to be seen. I think the reasons that people come here to study law are pretty diverse. It's not just that everybody wants to go become a lawyer. People are interested in, I think, applying legal education to a variety of things. But I think that with a law degree from Harvard, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, I'm looking to study further. I want to teach law, so I'll probably be applying for my uh, PhD program here at Yale. Well, it looks like incoming undergrads. So, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Regardless of what your motivation is, the decision of whether or not to pursue a legal education is one of the most important decisions you will make in your life. And, especially in the current economic climate, it is a decision that should not be made lightly, as the opportunity costs of attending and the debt you will likely incur will stay with you for years beyond your education ceases. On this website, you will hear the direct personal experiences of over 100 law students from over 20 of the nation's top law schools to help give you perspective about the challenges you will face as a law student. I guess there's two kinds of people, people who are looking to get a law degree uh, and people who want to be lawyers and people who want to be lawyers shouldn't go to a school outside of the top 30. Make sure you want to be a lawyer. I have too many friends who went to law school that didn't know why they went to law school. Don't do that to yourself. I mean, it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's hard. Once you've made your decision to apply, your next major decision is where to apply. You will also hear specific information about each particular school and location in the survey. I like the city and New York being one of the nexus of not only legal education to a certain extent, but just law in the U.S. and maybe even in the world. It's a good place to start your career. The financial aid they give you really comes out to be about 1100 a month for room and board. That's in a way good because it kind of forces you to really realize how frugally you need to live to get by on 150000 in three years, which sounds ridiculous, but of course a lot of that goes to, goes to the school and very little of that goes to, uh, to me, the student. I think there is disproportionate kind of focus on the grades, particularly your first year grades, which again, you can't choose your professor, you can't choose your courses, you can't choose the time of those courses, you just kind of get stuck. BU prioritizes teachers who teach as opposed to professors who publish. So BU year after year has one of the best teaching faculties in the country. I haven't felt as close to my professors here as I have in like undergrad. And then there's life after school. Choose your law school based on the quality of firm that you can get into because the quality of the firm is going to very much dictate your ability to lateral. Most people lateral down to firms that are more lifestyle firms or places where they have a better chance to make partner. Because 95% of people don't make partner it at Vault 100 firms, because most people aren't going to last past three years. Understand that and be frugal those, those three years, pay off your loans, because you're probably not going to last. Most people don't.